Welcome to our solar electric trailer journey. This week we will be sharing the secret to successfully charging with Electrify America, or EA as we'll sometimes call it. EA has the biggest network of charging stations by location in the country. We've done lots of road trips and for most we couldn't do them at all without EA. We learned this secret from one of the customer service agents, so we confess this isn't exactly <laughs> classified information. Still, what we're going to teach you contradicts the written instructions that Electrify America provides. We've been charging on the network for years and have had consistent problems. This secret method has dramatically improved our success rate with charging. We'll give you the step-by-step -step instructions for charging that have dramatically increased our charging time efficiency. Before we give you the charging step-by-step, -step, you'll want to download the app and install it on your phone. Next, you'll want to set up an account. If you're going to charge twice or more on a road trip, we'd recommend signing up for the Plus account, which costs $4 a month and, and saves you that much on almost every full charge. The app makes it easy to cancel and restart if you don't make frequent road trips and don't need to charge with EA locally. Do this before you hit the road to avoid stress. Remember, charging on a road trip is typically stressful. When you pull in for a stop, the weather may be unpleasant, hot, cold, rainy, or snowy. You may even be tired and cranky. Worst of all, you may be anxious to use the bathroom. This is not the best time to be figuring things out or dealing with glitches. Now, here's the step-by-step -step for you to follow. Okay, step one. Use the app to find a charging location and tap it. Step two. Touch the directions button on the menu that pops up to engage your default navigation app. Step three. Upon arrival at the charging station, pull right up to a charger and choose carefully and park appropriately based on where your vehicle's charging port is located. Step four, without getting out of the car, if possible, identify the two-digit number of the charger. Note on the charger screen, you may see a message that says, plug in first. Ignore that. That's the secret. Step five, before you even get out of the car, open the app, pull up on the tab that appears at the bottom of the screen that says, among other things, plug in first to charge. Don't plug in first to charge. <laughs> Using the app, tap the charger number where you're parked. If it is out of order or otherwise unavailable, you'll be notified in the app. If it is ready for use, another screen will pop up with a swipe button at the bottom for starting the charge. Don't, don't swipe it yet. Okay. Step six. Now it's time to get out of the car and plug in. This is trickier than it sounds. The cable is liquid cooled to allow for super fast charging. It's kind of heavy. And when you insert the cable into the car's charging port, lift it up and push it in. This is vitally important in cold weather. Devin sometimes uses his knee for this purpose, so he has hands free to use the app on his phone. Step seven. Now it's time to swipe the swipe button that says swipe to charge. A screen that says initiating charge should pop up on the app. Over the next 30 seconds, the charge will begin. The first sign that the process is working is that your car should lock onto the charger with an audible click. Now it's okay to let go of the charging cable. The car should then recognize that the charge is initiating. The charger itself will also start making a whining sound like it is spooling up for something big. Within about 30 seconds, your car should signal that it is receiving juice. Step 8. Now you can go find lunch and a restroom. Step nine, while charging, you can and should check the app for status updates. When you open the app, you'll see a blue charging status balloon at the top of the page. You can swipe among three different data sets or tap the balloon to bring up a screen with complete data. Occasionally, the charging will stop unexpectedly. This is an Electrify America glitch, so check regularly. 
EA threatens to bill for the idle time you remain connected even if the charge quits before your battery is fully charged. Step 10. When you get the charge you need, head back out to the car to disconnect. Push the button on the charging cable handle or press the stop charging button in the app. Within a few seconds, the car will release its lock on the cable so you can remove it, which may require you to push the button on the cable handle again. Then stow the cable on the charger. Step 11. If you check the app now, you'll see a summary uh, session report. We never look at that uh, because EA sends an email with the same data. Now you know the secret to more successful charging on the Electrify American network. This secret, step by step, has worked great for us over the past six months. We still have trouble occasionally, so it doesn't guarantee success. EA may change its app and systems at any point if you're watching this in 2036, we're pretty sure these <laughs> instructions won't work anymore. There's no telling how long they will work. Good luck. Thanks for joining us on our journey. We'd love to hear from you, including feedback on your experiences with Electrify America. The easiest way to share with us are to comment on our videos or newsletter. Uh, subscribe to our newsletter and simply reply to our emails. We get those replies and we'll reply to the replies. Uh, you can subscribe to the newsletter uh, by visiting OurSolarTrailer.com. We look forward to hearing from you. Bye. Bye. Bye.